not the video, this one. Okay, okay, great. Um, so two years ago in the last summit in Buenos Aires, um, uh, a project that is called CC Toolkits, um, um, I think is born there more or less, um, for, uh, it was a project to create uh, toolkits, uh, sets of toolkits for specific uh, audiences, for education, for the education sector, government sector, um, glam sector, also basics on CC, and uh, creative industries. Um, at that time, uh, well, uh, CC Portugal was just me, <laughs> and uh, of course it didn't come to my mind to pick up this, uh, this, this subject, but a few months later, um, um, Fatima, who is an economist and is a business developer for creative industries in the Science and Technology Park at the University of Porto, and who, with whom I have been working with, um, she joined the team, uh, as a public lead and we thought it was just the, the right project for us because I don't know if you know, okay, um, but Portugal has been in a crisis for uh, five years um, now and Portugal is a really small country, 10 million people uh, in the west side uh, uh, of Europe um, and uh, because of the crisis, I think uh, our startup scene uh, really grew up um, a bit, a, a huge bit. Uh, I don't know if it's sustainable, but yeah, we do ha now have a lot of startups and, and, and seed projects and etc. And um, so we, around 2010, Fatima, which was at the time not, uh, not in the team yet, uh, so she's uh, invited me to start giving talks about copyright and creative commons to these uh, startup projects. So they have acceleration projects there, incubator, etc. So I started to put a seed uh, there, <laughs> creative commons seed uh, within the companies, within the startup companies. And later on, Star uh, Fatima decided that, well, maybe some of these companies would be interested in maybe using CC licensed content or even licensing their own content with CC. Uh, and, and from time to time, she would send me a company <laughs> so that I could give them kind of a, an advice on how to use CC. And of course, sometimes I realized that the people were not really interested in, in CC and I said, okay, go home, this is not for you. And other times I would try to find ways of really putting CC there, somewhere in the project. Okay, so maybe you can use some music, but maybe you can also, you know, these little images that you have there, maybe you could release it too with CC. So it was more or less like this that it started, and that's why Portugal, CC Portugal decided to take the lead of, the, of this project. Um, we had the, the, the knowledge, you know, academic background on legal knowledge and economic knowledge. We had the experience. Uh, Fatima worked with, uh, with all these companies for a long time, has been working with, for, with, the, with the companies for a long time. So uh, we decided to take the lead and uh, we had a very short deadline, a very small budget. Uh, and that's why this is a soft lunch uh, because, uh, yeah, I, I guess it was a really, really small working group. It was me and Fatima, Eric Stewart, and uh, Paul, and, uh, and Sarah. Am I forgetting someone? I don't know. And the regional coordinators. And the regional coordinators, yeah. So basically it was not really, I think this would be interesting to do with a larger team of people with economical background, especially, uh, because this is really interesting. Anyway, we are confident that what we have achieved so far is interesting and it is worth showing already. Um, so today we are going to present to you, okay, our toolkit for business, that's a work in progress, uh, and right now is just focusing on the benefits for, um, for some businesses. Um, of course, we also need to do some work on um, reasons for not adopting, you know, we cannot show just the benefits and not, and not the other reason, not the reasons for not using CC too. So we have to show the pros and the cons of, of using CC. So we created a poster, uh, a flyer, and also a video that we will show at the end of our, of our presentation. And right now, Fatima is gonna just go a bit through the, the benefits that we found of using CC for businesses. Yes. Okay, hello. Again, sorry for the delay. We had really a tough time there. 
Um, I'm going to show you just what's, what's inside uh, the, the contents that will be part of this toolkit for business. It's not um, a finished work, it's far from that. But uh, we decided that uh, as a starting point we had to have um, the materials that we would hand people to make them aware of the benefits of using CC licenses in, in their businesses. Because um, although when you are starting up a business and, or starting up a project, you're very focused on a lot of benefits, not only your profit, you have to have, get your business sustainable. So you have to make money out of it and you have to realize what's the actual benefit to your company, either in terms of increasing revenues or um, decreasing your costs, but it has to be very clear. And so we thought this was the, the place to start. So as a first benefit, first benefit, <laughs> wait, aha, no, this is the second benefit, so that's the first benefit. <laughs> So, um, as a first benefit, we put this one because it's really obvious. It's also very tricky to expose it like this. It, this is made in a very simplified way after a lot of discussion. And, um, but the first benefit we've identified is actually the reduction of production costs when in, when in terms of uh, uh, producing content itself, using other contents, remixing things. But uh, because this is so controversial, and it might be so controversial, and uh, even subject to a lot of critiques, we underline that this is specially indicated for startups of, or for projects that are starting. Um, another benefit... Oh, man. Uh, no, this is the third benefit. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. So, reduced transaction costs and legal uncertainty, that's another benefit we identified, usually when you're, you're starting, when you're trying to license something or access some content license it, you go through a lot of, uh, of um, legal, legal burden and uh, legal uh, costs related to consultating lawyers, uh, finding where, where the information is, so it's, this is another of the benefits we've identified. Yes. Yes, so you're responsible for this. <laughs> okay, we all know that CC licenses can also bring some uncertainty in certain cases. Uh, so, um, basically this idea was, yeah, of course, you, we are using standardized licenses that were discussed by a lot of lawyers and we kind of believe that they will work in, in, uh, in several jurisdictions. So, at least in, in terms of the legal perspective of the contract, like, we believe that using a work that is licensed with CC could really uh, reduce these legal costs and, and transaction costs, of course, because you don't have to negotiate with uh, which one of the musicians or f filmmakers, etc., because the content is already licensed, right? Uh, but of course, on the other perspective, you, we know that the licenses don't provide you any warranties, so uh, a person can be using a license, although it doesn't have the rights over the contact, so it really has uh, pros and cons, of course. So, um, another benefit is uh, increased access to innovation and reduce marketing costs. This is pretty much related to open innovation. It doesn't mean that you can't do these things without using CC licenses. It just makes it easier and more transparent and more um, trustable <laughs> and more safe. Um, increased first movers advantage is also another benefit. It gives you the possibility of releasing your work and actually start building your own um, public, your own audience and, and reach your clients first uh, and even involving them in the process of, of the production that you are going through. Um, we've also identified increased opportunity benefits and build a reputation. Oppo opportunity benefits in opposition to opportunity costs, which is something that in economics we talk about a lot. Um, but opportunity benefits in the sense that once it's out there, there are some things that might happen to your product that you weren't even expecting. And this is something that CC licensed uh, content um, allows. Um, finally, promote sustainability, because we see that mo many of the businesses that are starting now and even um, businesses that are already establishing, established and are trying to uh, renew uh, their own forms of action, they, they 
they keep caring more and more about sustainability and not just, as Paul said, generating profit and generating revenues. So finally, this is a video I'm just going to show you in the end because it's not working here. But finally, what we wanted to, to address is that, as you've seen, there's a lot of issues and questions that may arise from all these benefits we've identified. This is a very simplified uh, explanation of what can be interesting for businesses when using CC licenses. And what we think it's fundamental now and we do not want to release this, these, content, these contents out without uh, having a proper platform built up with all the information, with further explanation, with frequently asked questions, with the book that Paul and Sarah are, are working on, and continue to build this toolkit in order to make it very clear. Um, this, the, these three contents, the, the poster, the handout, and the video, are only a way to raise awareness for the subject, but we really need to, to build in a, a proper uh, platform where all these things are together and we can even involve um, researchers in these fields. There's a lot of interesting research for in, from the field of cultural economics. So yeah, that's it. And we're here to hear your feedback about this and discuss it with you and take all your critiques. And thank you very much. I think that's it. Yeah, thank you. That's it. Creative oh, comments. the video. How can my business benefit? Creative Commons, or CC Licensing, is a game-changing proposal about the way we do business. Using CC license work or licensing your own production with CC can improve your business model. Using CC licensed work helps reducing production costs. It is ideal for kickstarting projects without the extra overhead or legal burden of acquiring copyrighted assets. Licensing your own work with CC allows you to control how others will use it online and offline, this way saving on transaction costs. CC can help you raise consumer interest and test the market. Release your work under CC and get feedback from your target segment, reducing both innovation and marketing costs. You can also benefit from first mover's advantage. Get your product out first and ensure it gets the spotlight. Your audience will do the rest. By allowing others to reuse your work, you are bound to face unexpected benefits, such as new forms of revenue. When using CC licenses, you affirm a stance for economic and social responsibility, fostering a thriving, sustainable and open business ecosystem. So it's, it's important to, this is, I think this is really, I hope it will be <laughs> very useful to, to catch people's attention and to attract um, entrepreneurs and, and business people to use these licenses, but it's not the whole picture. So, yeah. yeah. Actually, after we have, uh, we'll tell you the story, we will be transparent. <laughs> after we finish the, the toolkit, John, John, where are you? You just send us a... <laughs> A huge amount of critique. <laughs> no, no, it was really. It was. It was important, and I think we have to think about it. And what I said to John, look, we are having a positive stance here. Kind of, we are showing the positive side of using CC. Uh, somehow, we are selling it, of course, uh, and and that's why we are kind of now. Yeah, it's important also to have this facts or something like that, show to people that uh, it might not be so interesting for their own business and, and we don't want to mislead anyone, you know, just saying, oh, this is only benefits and there's no risks at all. So, yeah, that's why we are being a bit cautious and also because CC 
has been on for 10 years and there's not, I think it's just now giving baby steps on, on maybe business, like studying the, 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 how CC works with businesses. So I think, yeah, there's a lot of things working, going on now, so we can wait a bit more to, to, to have this release probably and get your feedback. So it's important to have your feedback on this. A thousand years when all our bones have disappeared and every word has been erased. Still the rivers flow.